Hi, this is Robert from Lounge Audio. I did one video before about using the RIAA to create a phono preamp, and you can see that video. We'll have it in the link below if you haven't seen it already. What I'd like to go over today is about the history of the RIAA curve, why it was implemented, and exactly how it was implemented within this uh, audio world. So the beginning of this is started by Columbia Records. In 1947, they announced that they would start uh, making a long playing album, and that was brand new then, long playing LP, and they cut to their own curve, and everything was fine with that because they were the only producers of the LP until the early 50s, uh, when RCA got into the into the game also of LPs with their new orthophonic curve. So there were two types of LPs out. Uh, then some other companies also started cutting with uh, different curves for LPs. And then you had all the legacy things, the 78s and also the 45s came into play too. And there were different curves for just about everything. And during that time, the cost of, of phono stage was ballooning uh, by from approximately six or seven dollars to about twenty dollars or even more for a phono stage. And you can see all kinds of designs in, in the early magazines in the 50s of phono stages. And there's tons of different curves and uh, and settings on there. There's all kinds of knobs to change the filter slopes. And you got to know which one to use for each different album you got. So it's driving people nuts, of course, and it's getting expensive. So the Audio Engineering Society published a magazine called the Journal of Audio Engineering, and they proposed a, um, a, a single curve for everybody to conform to. And that was in January of 1951. And that's this, this article right here. AES standard playback curve. They give they give the curve that they think everybody should be using, and here it is down here. They give you a little circuit here to use for a playback uh, phono stage, and this was all fine, and everybody agreed that this should be the case. But make should be the case, and making it a reality are two different things. So it took a number of years for this to soak in to everybody's consciousness. Then we get to. 1954 and this came out in uh, the um, uh, radio news and this is the called the curve that conforms here in the very beginning they talk about the expense of the photo stage just like I was talking about before and they go on to say how now the RIAA has picked out a curve to use as the standard it turns out it's not the AES standard it is the new orthophonic curve that, R that RCA had been using already for a number of years. So RCA won out on this war. They got to be the standard. And this is the RIAA certified standard that everybody lives by up to today. This, um, this curve was, was certified, but the reality, it took a number of years until the late 50s before most albums were cut by this standard where you didn't have to worry and think that everything you went to a record store and just pulled a record out and it would be cut to the same curve. Uh, there were still a few holdouts. Telefunken was one of them. Uh, they were cutting to their own curve and I, and I don't think they changed until quite late in the game. I think they were cutting to their own personal curve even up through the 60s. So, um, but everybody else was pretty standardized by late 50s following this this curve and uh, so by the late 50s everything was going good and you could buy an album and play it by one curve and uh, this this all happened back <clears throat> when when tape recording was coming up too but for LP playback they were following this curve there's another curve that tape recorders get used for and you don't want to you don't you don't want to confuse that so when you read if you go back and read all these articles you'll see things about tape recorder playback curves we will link all these articles to the bottom of this video and uh, you can go read the stuff for yourself if you like and we'll be doing one more video on RIAA technology uh, coming up after this so keep watching our channel and thanks for watching <laughs>